right. Welcome, everybody, to the BOF wrap-up wrap-up. This is, I hope, my last BOF wrap-up ever, because I'd really like somebody else to take over this role. Um, not because I don't like it, but because I believe that KDE it should be all of our faces, everyone's faces, and not just this one. So sign up now to do the BOF wrap-ups next year. Okay. Um, it was a short day for BOFs today because we had the talks in the afternoon. Um, so let's start off with room one, which started with a party and celebration because we had the GitLab migration celebration. Bushan dragged us through some of the history and Lydia let us sing a song. If Lydia, hi. Hi, yes, um, we celebrated the migration to GitLab with the amazing team that's been working on it, um, like Ben, Bushan, and uh, Nicolas, and a ton of other people. And it was really cool to hear from people um, what they thought about the migration and what they had learned. Um, so, and one of the things that we want to highlight um, from that is that with GitLab um, in the future, it will become much easier for more people to contribute to KDE, not just code. And it also will become much easier for different um, types of contributors to work together. So for example, the promo team is already really happy about GitLab and make it making it easier for them to work on websites. And we danced. <laughs> and we danced, always important. Thanks, Lydia. Moving on in room one, there was a bit of a break, and then we had the KDE network supporting local communities. So that's building out KDE into all the places in the world that are coming to us virtually. Anika? Hi. Hi. Let me just turn on my camera. OK. So we started off by briefly explaining about what KDE Network is. So I will explain it again over here for those who don't know about it. So it's basically a group of KDE representatives in their respective cities and countries who are going to promote KDE in their local community. And initially, we are going to start a pilot study in India to see if it works out. And if it doesn't, then we'll see what are the other things which we can do. So the purpose of it is to basically create brand awareness of KDE in that community, increase, increase and engage new contributors, and increase the number of end users in that community. So we also dis uh, discussed that, is it possible to have a legal entity or not? So we discussed that it's going to just be a supporting role. If they want to do that, they can go to board of members for that, because we are just going to support the local communities. Also, uh, we have a financial plan and the main plan ready. So I'm going to share the links over here in the chat. So if anybody wants to go through it, they can. Also, we have um, Telegram and metrics set up. So if they want to join us, because we're going to have our next meeting on 17 September. So anybody who is willing to support this idea should join us. Thanks, Anika. And also, thank you for all of the links in chat there. We should remember to save them before clearing chat again. I can okay. share it in the shared notes. Do that too. Okay, moving on to room two. We started out with Blue Angel, sustainable computing in KDE. That was run by Cornelius. So if Cornelius, if you step in and explain to us. I don't see a Cornelius in channel. But that's because I'm not looking well. I see Cornelius and he's uh, yeah. typing in the chat. We'll give him a minute. Uh, you should be able to rejoin audio by clicking the headphone button. Okay, so he's he's briefly stuck in 
echo chamber hell. Or at least in the you are now muted stage. Hi. There we go. Hi. All right. So Good to see you again. We had a session about the Blue Angel, um, which is this uh, German uh, eco label. So it's a label for environmentally friendly products. They introduced a software label. So we talked about how to get uh, something uh, from KDE into that and get KDE certifi certified as the most sustainable and energy efficient um, application set. Um, there's working on um, on that. Um, it would be wonderful if some people join that, uh, measuring energy consumptions or, of KDE applications and also figuring out how to make sure that KDE software is available on computers which are old for a long time so people don't have to buy new hardware. And uh, KDE is in a great position um, for getting this uh, from a technical point of view, but, and that's a um, very important point because the label matches color-wise perfectly to KDE. So I would love to get more of that. Um, I'm working on that. Um, other people are interested in that and are working on that. So uh, join us, uh, stay tuned. We will announce more on KDE Core Devil when there is uh, more things in place to join and collaborate. All right, thank you, Cornelius. That's cool. Um, moving on. After Blue Angel, we went to the KDE developer platform, developer documentation. That was run by Carl, Carl Schwann, who has his hardware mute switch enabled. Oh, OK, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it works. So uh, we talked about the um, developer platform, what I'm currently uh, developing. Uh, I just sent a link in the chat. It, uh, dev um, so it's, I want to centralize everything regarding the third party usage of uh, KD uh, tools and frameworks. And we talk, uh, talk it about the scope of uh, uh, this website and uh, how to uh, organize it a bit and uh, what you want uh, this website to uh, archive. Uh, yeah. And let me see it in the notes. Uh, we also talked about the criminal documentation and how we can move a bit forward to improve it a bit uh, by, for example, uh, moving uh, the toxic QML uh, uh, package uh, in uh, upstream in, in uh, KDE instead of, instead of GitHub. Yeah. OK, that's it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Carl. Moving on in room two, the last boff of the day was Cute Wayland. David Edmondson ran a meeting with various Wayland people. If Dave is around. It does not look like it. There's Kai Ua points out that there's plenty of backup Davids, so maybe we should use one of those. Is there any other David who wants to join? No, well, I think the thing we need to remember is that Wayland will fix it, even if it doesn't show up. All right, that was the wrap up of today's uh, off sessions. Uh, I'm going to summarize all of the boff sessions for the entire week right now. They were awesome. 